Thank you, far too kind. Uh. Uh. Can I get an encore? Do you want? Sneaky scavenger here. Long time no see. Sorry about the delay in vids. Just uh, it's been a crazy month. Had a change in my schedule, so just uh, try to stick with me. But I haven't. I have had some pickups this past month. What you see in front of you is what you get. So if you are new to the channel and you see anything here that might interest you, just subscribe. Believe me, uh, I'll do my best to make it worth worth your while. And uh, for those of you who have been with me for uh, the past few months, you guys will enjoy a couple of these vids because. You have an array, you have you know some SBs, you have what I'm uh, pretty much getting addicted to uh, as of recently is the Lee Ning brand, uh, Way Way um, shoes in particular, you got some KD7s, you have a Nike Sportswear, uh, you have a Jordan Retro, you have a LeBron pickup. So without further ado guys, sorry about the long wait, but let's get right into the next pair of shoes. What's going on YouTube? So like I was saying before, at the beginning of the video, um, I'm really sticking with these lead leanings. Uh, I'm really feeling the way they feel on feet. I'm really feeling the way they feel on foot. And I know it's not a Nike. I know it's not an Air Jordan. I know it's not a Reebok or Adidas. Only these, you know, other people consider to be major. What well, other people consider to be major, major brands. But in my eyes, like they're taking it back. They're taking it back to, you know, why I fell in love with sneakers in the first place. The way they feel, uh, you know, the the, the colorway is a little wild. But just the way they feel on foot, it will not disappoint. I can tell you that right now. Um, Sway away 2.0, these lows. Again, this is what I wasn't in love with on 2.0 highs or mid, you want to call them. I really wasn't in love with that toe cap, but I think it looks great on this uh, model and the way that they, uh, they they color blocked everything. That midsole is crazy, you know, the dazzle camo going all around the sneaker. I mean, I know it's a, it's a wild sneaker, I know it's got a ton of colors. and. You know, it's probably not what a lot of people want to rock, but I'm tired of rocking what a lot of people want to rock. I'll be honest with you. Um, I'm tired of walking around and same um, stuff that Joe Schmo's walk around with around the corner. And again, these aren't limited, or if they were, and you couldn't ask me. Shout out to Goldie Gorilla on this pickup because he helped and assisted me with getting a discount. He gave me a discount code and I think I got like 15% or 10% or something like that. But either way, they were 175 retail. I got them for about like a buck 47, I think it was. And just the quality of the leather that they used. I mean, on the previous pair, if you guys saw the, the video that I uh, put out before this on the Red Lavas, I mean, that new buck was amazing. Amazing. And I hate to say it, but it really does put to shame the Red New Buck that they used on the uh, Red Toro 4s and the Red Toro Spizikes. That new book was garbage compared to the new book they used on the uh, Wayway 2.0, 2.5s, the Red Lavas. And just the way that the shoe feels on foot is just amazing. Let me show you guys the insole. Here's the insole. Again, I can't tell you what it is, what exactly feels so good about the shoe. But when you put it on, you just feel good. You just feel like a comfortable shoe. You don't feel like you're wearing something restraining or something that's, that's uh, hurting your feet or needs time to break in. And not for nothing, but this is a full leather shoe. And you know it's going to break in once you wear it a few more times. And if you're balling them, you're balling them. I'm pretty sure they're a pretty good ball shoe. I'm not the guy to go to for that, but... Again, when I first saw the shoe, I saw it on a lot of YouTubers channels as a sample and I was a little afraid that it wasn't going to get released and I was actually like, ah, if it doesn't get released, big deal, you know, that, that colorway is a little weird for me anyway. But the moment that it was put out that it was for sale, I was like, nah, man, I wore, I had just worn the Red Lavas for a full day, 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 and some change. And I was like, nah, man, the next couple of drops that I like, I got to pick it up and this is amazing, just amazing. And all leather, every panel on the shoe is leather, uh, full grain leather, and it feels, you know, buttery smooth. It just looks a little wild, but big deal. You know what I mean? Like, that's what, you know, it's come down to. The 80s are back. These, this reminds of an 80s shoe. I'm an 80s baby, you know? Like, 
this is what it this is what it comes down to but uh anyway folks thank you for tuning in and subscribe if you're not already because there's going to be another five videos following this one pretty soon and i hope i don't disappoint but i promise not to disappoint if you guys like it you know just subscribe hit that like button leave a comment you know if you like the shoe if you don't like the shoe what do you guys take on leaning you know you guys like ah it's whack uh you know it's it's not up there for me yet i still want to rock every retro and believe me i'm still buying my retros just the ones that i want not like every pair everything that drops anymore but you know you'll see you guys will see you guys will see and um i will be doing the videos in according to as like the sequence that i picked them up because i know i was little like lax days ago again it was just to change the schedule and i was having a hard time trying to find the time to record again but stay tuned and i'll follow up with an on feet thank you guys again i'll see you guys later